Hi everyone, my name is Karis and welcome to my corner of the internet where I talk about books and other things that I enjoy. Today I'm going to be doing another weekend reading vlog. At least hopefully there's going to be lots of reading. That is my plan at least, but I guess I'll just see where the weekend takes me. I've done a few of these before, but normally for like a specific reason because I've been reading a specific book or there's been a readathon or the other week it was because it was my birthday weekend. I have actually found that I really enjoy doing them and a few people have told me that they like watching them as well. I'm not going to commit to making them a thing but I would like to try and do them. So it's Saturday today. It's bank holiday on Monday, so everyone's got Mondays off. I normally have Mondays off anyway at the moment, but it means like my dad's off work and stuff, so we might go somewhere. Not sure, depends what the weather's like. I have a list of other things that I need to do this weekend. I want to do some reading, I need to film, I need to obviously edit and upload that video. I really want to reorganise my bookshelves because I have the pile of books that I got for my birthday still on the floor behind where the camera is and I do need to put them on the shelf and do some other reorganisation as well. Then I just need to tidy my room and then there's a couple of other things that aren't that interesting and I also want to bake. But in terms of reading, I'm going to start off my day today, well I say that it's almost 11 o'clock but you know I'm going to start off the actual doing part of my day by doing some reading. I am about 25 pages or 30 pages maybe away from the end of Promising Young Women by Caroline O'Donoghue. I did read about 30 pages of it in bed before I got up properly today and now that I'm ready, I've had breakfast, I want to sit down and finish it so that I can include it in my April wrap up. Like I know it's the first day of May but I haven't filmed that video yet and I don't want to finish this within the first like 12 hours of day one and then have to wait another 30 days because my memory cannot handle that and then hopefully I'm going to start another book today. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet so I will update you later but for now I'm going to sit down and read 30 minutes-ish of this and hopefully get it done. Lorena from Sunshine Lorena has done a read with me in the garden and I really like watching read with me's so I'm gonna watch this one. I've got it up on my laptop here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but yeah, got it here. I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. So I'm gonna watch this and I think this is about 20 minutes so I probably won't finish the book during it, but I'll be close. So I'm not gonna stop until I've done. Okay, so I finished, I read most of it on Lorena's video and then just finished off the last little bit of it. I think I'm gonna give it a four stars. It basically follows the story of a 26 year old woman called Jane who is a bit adrift in her job. She's working in like an advertising office in London and she has just ended a long term relationship as well. And she begins a relationship with another man who is her boss and who is 20 years older than her and is also married. And it's a lot about the power imbalance of that relationship and how toxic it becomes and how she sort of gradually starts to see this. I will talk about it more in my wrap up, which I think I'm gonna film in a bit. It's going up tomorrow, so I do need to do it so that I can get it edited and stuff. But I just thought quickly before I do anything else today, I would read a story that Emily from Emily Kathleen Reads wrote and sent to Rhiannon and I. So last night we were doing our Friday night reading sprints and for some reason we went on a massive tangent <laughs> about glasses. I was talking about a time in 2017 where a company sent me some glasses and I had put them in a video and then I got like the best comment that I've probably ever got. Um, I'll put a clip in now of me reading the comment out in the vlog because you will see the sort of chaos and hysteria that we were experiencing. You know when like one person starts laughing and you're just like losing it and you can't stop? That is how it was because Rhiannon was laughing and I've just, I just couldn't get through reading out this comment. I couldn't believe how smudged up your glasses were when you took them off. You really should keep your glasses cleaner because with them dirty, you really can't see as well through them. Which isn't good for your eyes. If I were in... <laughs> If I were in front of you talking and I saw your glasses that dirty, I would take your glasses right off your face and clean them for you. I am a retired optician and you wouldn't be the first young lady that I did exactly that to. I even carry a micro cleaning cloth <laughs> in my pocket just for that reason. I looked back and saw you wearing your Ray-Ban glasses. They're nice. 
<laughs> Honestly, I think you look so much better wearing your Fermi glasses. And I have a feeling that you aren't as comfortable in them as your Fermi glasses. Congrats on the new job and new house as well. Don't forget, <laughs> clean your glasses. And Emily, she'd finished reading her book and she was like, I'm going to write a story on this. It seems like a short story that could be in like the Murder Most Unladylike collection or something like that. Um, and she sent it to us last night, but then I went to sleep. So I haven't read it yet. And I really want to read it because I think it's going to be great. So I'm going to sit here and do it now. And then I'm going to get on with the rest of the day. But I feel like this is going to be like the boost that I need to get me feeling a bit more motivated today. Okay, I've read two paragraphs and I'm already like, this is brilliant. I don't know. If I should read it out because I don't know if Emily like wants people to read it. But this talk of sawdust burst out in all sorts of directions. Um, it left her covered in all sorts of dirt which would eventually get too much for her spectacles. <laughs> Emily, this is genius. Okay, I need to keep reading it. I think I'm going to put the camera up here so you can just see me reacting to this genius bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was possibly the best thing i've ever read i don't think i've ever laughed so much <laughs> at reading a piece of work as that i loved it so much thank you so much for sending that over to me because that has really brightened my day already so yeah i will leave a link to emily's channel in the description as well you should definitely go over and check her out because she's hilarious thank you for brightening my day i'm now gonna i guess film i might wait until after lunch We'll see, I'll take another look along my to-do list. Oh, and should I pick my next book? These are the next two books that I think I'm gonna read and I don't know which one to go for. They're both my book club picks. So I've got Playing Bad Heroines and I've got Small Pleasures. Very different, I think, in vibe. But the book club for this one, I don't think is gonna be until the end of the month, but it's massive and I think it's going to take me a very long time. So part of me is like, should I just start it? But then the book club for this one is the 18th. So I still do have a couple of weeks, well, almost three weeks, but I kind of think that if I start this one, then I'm not gonna leave myself enough time to read this one. So maybe I should just do this one. But I don't know if I'm in the mood for this or should I just start something completely different? But then I'm putting these off and I need to get them done. Ugh, decisions. I think it'll be this one, but I don't know if that's what I'm in the mood for today. And maybe I could just get through something else at the weekend. We'll see, I will update you when I actually sit down to do the reading but it will probably be one of these two probably small pleasures hello why do i always hold the camera and then instantly want to put it down two seconds wow i feel like that's really not balanced um but i just thought i would do a quick update for the day so i haven't really included any footage of the day because i haven't done anything <laughs> worthy of vlogging i did some life admin but was something that i needed to get done off the to-do list so that is done i filmed a video which obviously you'll see so i didn't vlog that i've just finished it i honestly feel like i've been chatting shit for a full 45 minutes it will be my april wrap-up which has just gone up <laughs> i don't know i feel like i had thoughts about the books but i couldn't like get the words out properly my brain is just not working today i was going to edit it but i've got half an hour now before a zoom call with the lovely girls who i had my zoom call in my last vlog with we're having another one this week because it's shannon's birthday tomorrow so we wanted to celebrate again and i'm so excited to see them all again i love that it's only been two weeks since the last one it's, it's just so nice i also did go on a walk but i didn't take my camera and it was a bit rainy and gray and not probably that interesting so hopefully i'll have some like interesting clips to put in over the next couple of days but i just thought i would do a quick reading update because i did pick a book and i decided to go with plain bad heroines this is the like naked hardback not that exciting but i do love this pink color oh and i'm also using my drag race <laughs> bookmark that rhiannon got me which i love i've read like 20 pages i've read the first chapter i'm intrigued i do feel like my brain wasn't really taking it in so i might have to start it again 
tomorrow. I don't know, I think I started it too soon after having finished the other one, which was obviously very powerful and very emotional. And I just sort of probably should have let that sit with me a bit more rather than going instantly into this. I've just read about the death of the two girls in the 1900s who you know are like in a relationship with each other. That's not a spoiler, that's on the blurb. But that's like the first chapter is about that. So I've read that. There was some stuff going on with wasps, which was interestingly described there's also a lot of like footnotes at the bottom which in theory i do like and think is cool but in practice i don't know if i'm just really unobservant today but i keep missing like the little asterisks so i'll get to the bottom of the page and i'll be like oh, what does that relate to <laughs> so then having to like search again whereas ideally i'd be like reading get to it then read the footnote and then go back so i need to like find my rhythm with that but yeah, just wanted to update that I'm actually reading something now. I did decide on this one in the end because I don't know if Small Pleasures is going to be hard hitting, but I feel like it's more likely to be more hard hitting than this. And I think although this is long, that might be a bit more of a difficult read. And after having just read something quite hard hitting, I wanted something a little bit lighter. I mean, I just literally said that two people have died in the first chapter, but although it's meant to be horror, it's like a different vibe to something that's very literary and intense but i also thought if i can get a lot of this read this weekend then hopefully i can like finish this over the course of a week i'm gonna go and eat now and then i'm gonna join the call i don't know if i'll vlog any of it or if anyone will play any pranks on anyone i am not leaving the room at all because i am not trusting anyone i love that i'm in exactly the same position as where i was in the last clip and yet almost 24 hours has passed happy sunday it is about 1 p.m on sunday and i don't think i have any other footage since the last clip when I was standing here. I had a Zoom um, and it was really fun. It was a really nice time again. As I said before, it's always just so nice to spend time virtually with my friends and I can't wait to spend time with them all in person. I feel so grateful, as I've said many times before, to just have these people in my life now. I honestly like can't imagine the past six months in particular <laughs> without having all these people in my life. But yeah, I was on the call until about one i want to say but i know that sylvie shah and anna were on it until like half two and guys guys how just how because i swear we were all like falling asleep when i was still on it and then leanne and i left and i was like oh they'll probably just stay on for like another 10 or 15 minutes then this morning in the sprints they said that they all went to bed at like half two three and i was just like i'm tired so i cannot imagine what they are feeling right now. <laughs> Speaking of the sprints, I did the normal Sunday morning sprints as I join in with every week. I didn't do any reading, so I have not read any more of Plain Bad Heroines yet, but I did edit my video and it is now just scheduled to go live in a couple of hours time. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know, I feel like as I was editing it, I was just being so overly critical of everything. And it's really weird because I'm not normally like that. So I don't know why I got so like that about this video. So we'll see, I'm just gonna put it out into the world and I'm gonna be out when it's going live. So it's fine. I like to sort of not be around when my videos go live because I know that if I let myself get into the mindset of like looking at analytics all the time, then I could get very caught up in that. So I sort of just like to take a step back, especially around the time the video goes live and not really pay attention because ultimately this is just something I do for fun and I do it for myself, you know? It's really nice to have people to talk to, but it shouldn't all be about numbers. It shouldn't really be that much of a big deal. I just think I've just got to be a bit kinder to myself about the content that I'm making in general. But yeah, now I'm about to go out for the day. As I said, it's about half one. We're gonna go for a walk and it is nice weather today. So hopefully it's gonna stay that way. We're back from our walk now. It was a really nice walk. We did get a bit lost <laughs> at the beginning, which is just typical. But now that we're back, we've ordered a Nando's to be collected at half seven. So I've got a little bit of time. So I thought I would do some baking. Hopefully this isn't gonna be as chaotic as the baking that I did in my last video because I've made these biscuits several times. They're my absolute favorite at the moment. They're vanilla and pistachio biscuits. They look like this. Um, and this recipe that I use is from this old classic, Tanya Bakes. Ooh, I just 
<laughs> I just dipped the end of like the tassel in my tea. Yeah, I have this really old Tanya Burr baking book. And to be fair to Tanya, she's absolutely excelled herself with this recipe. For the majority of my life, I've had no desire to eat pistachios and then I feel like the past six months they've become like my favorite food and my favorite like flavor. I don't know why one day I woke up and suddenly was like, oh yeah, I really like pistachio after having like never had it. I also want to watch Drag Race Down Under while I'm making them. I honestly can't think of a time since the first lockdown began when I haven't been watching some version of Drag Race. And yeah, I am in my dressing gown because it's freezing. <laughs> It's Monday and it is a horrible rainy day. It actually looks quite bright. I will show you out of the window in a minute. It's horrible. I'm about to go out for a run. Yay. I feel like last May and April it was a lot easier to like get out the door and go and do it. I think because I was on full-time furlough then I didn't have anything else to do. When I'm actually out and doing it it's fine. I don't love it all the time but I don't hate it. But I just have such a thing about getting out the front door. I I don't know why I find it so difficult so I'm really trying to reframe it in my mind as not I have to go out for a run like oh I get to go out for my run now like making myself excited about it so I'm gonna go today even though I don't really want to and it's raining I think it's gonna get worse later so I want to go now while it's still semi-decent I really want to run 100k in May when I get back I am going to actually do some bookish stuff which is what I guess you want to see in this vlog so I'm gonna try and do some more reading of Playing Bad Heroines I've literally read nothing more since I last updated I tried to read a little bit in the car yesterday but I was so tired and then last night when I went to bed I was in bed by like 10 and I fully intended on reading like up to page 100 or something and I just went to sleep. I was so shattered yesterday and I slept for like almost 10 hours and I still woke up feeling tired. So that's great. It was my full intention of getting like halfway through this and I obviously haven't even scratched the surface with it. I would like to put a dent in this. I know Aoife's hosting some reading sprints later but I'm not sure if I will be able to join. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reorganise my bookshelves and I'll talk about that when i get back and put some of it in the vlog it doesn't actually look too bad but this is like the current situation it's not raining right now so i guess it's the best time to actually go Ugh, can't be bothered okay so just to give a little overview of the room i've pulled my chair out it's normally like way further back but i've got two bookcases here with like an extension and then i've got another two here and my little mini record thing under my record player which i do have a few books on and this is the pile of books from my birthday. And then I have the trolley, which currently has a few things in, which is meant to be for my books that are on my TBR for the month. I don't think any of these are. So other than like this, which is sort of ongoing forevermore. And then I've got like things that need to go on my Depop down here, which ideally I will do today as well. But I don't know if I'll have time. Yeah, I think the first thing I'm going to have to do is pull them all off. I'm thinking of going by the dates that I read them thing but the thing that's really irritating me is the size of the shelves tall hardbacks for example will literally only fit up here they won't fit on any of these other ones whereas like a standard size hardback will fit on the top shelves but then it won't fit on this one but it would fit on the bottom one but it makes it like really difficult for any sort of logical organization so i think i'm gonna have to keep my hardback separately and then maybe try and do the order thing for the rest of them. I have about two hours before I'm going on a call with my friend so I don't know if I can get it all done in two hours. We'll see, I hope I can but I'm not feeling too optimistic. Right so this is the current situation. Um, it's so weird seeing my shelves empty apart from this one, I'll talk about that in a minute. So these are my red books and these 
and my unread books. But now I really don't know what to do. But, so I've left the ones on here. I will take them off to just the shelves later, but I'm kind of reluctant to move them because I do really like that as a filming background. I do feel like I'm massively regretting this decision as well because I don't think I'm gonna get it done in the next hour and a half. I've gotta keep going. I'm also watching Four in a Bed, which is a great TV show, iconic British television right there. Right, I'm gonna get dusting. I have done my hardbacks, sort of, sort of. So these are like my tall hardbacks. These are the hardback books that I haven't read. And then onto here. So I do want to do the organised by order I read them sort of thing. And I know that this is going to really like not be satisfying to people because like these for example are now split up and the two Morgan Matsons are split up. I do like seeing the order of when I read everything. I think especially like these like my later books it's quite cool to see like look at them and know the order that i read them in wish me luck for figuring out the order of all of these i think i'm going to organize them all first before i put them on the shelves charlotte from coiny reads messaged me and was like the best organization is the one that makes sense to the bookshelf owner right another update i have had my call now it's about six and i've sorted out my books by year so like each one of these piles is a different year so several hours later at quarter past nine in the evening it's finally done so i'll do a little overview if you'd be interested in a bookshelf tool let me know because i'm not sure i'm not sure if people like care about that or not this as i said before is the first red shelf starting with the earliest here going down to about the end of 2018 i've got a sign bimini poster up here of course then i've got my record player i've got all my records and a few of my favorite books slash special editions and then i've got a few series my rainbow books a few classics my daphne du maurier's the poppy war series and embroidery and then just my shelf of stuff this envelope here is my degree we love that a uh, 27 grand piece of paper that's just been sitting there for almost four years this side is my continuation of my red books starting with my hardbacks and then my paperbacks and then ending here and then this bottom shelf is like my miscellaneous basically like the ugliest books <laughs> that i didn't want on the nice half of the shelf and then my like mystery and thrillers that i haven't read yet in the middle as well and this one i did put the mint green classics in the middle as i said before my tall red hardbacks and my tall unread hardbacks and the little candle that rihanna got me for my birthday is there as well so my hardbacks as i talked about before and then i tried to order these but to be honest they're not that successful so i've got like kids a middle grade into a few YA series and like more fantasy stuff then I tried to go for like mystery ones that I think are going to be like more intense like darker contemporaries and then that sort of carried on down here but I put a few in the wrong place but I really can't be bothered to figure it out right now then more like fun contemporaries and then I thought I'd move into like the adult contemporaries so like romances and then literary fiction which continues on down here and then i went into like more historical sort of around here and then this is my non-fiction while i'm sitting here shall i count all my unread books now they're all in one place because i haven't actually had them all in one place before i have 158 unread books and honestly i wish i had three less because then it would be 155 and it would be like shannon's youtube channel name so i'm finally sitting down to start some reading i don't know how far through this i'm gonna get 50 pages would be good for me um i missed out on Aoife's reading sprints earlier because i was cooking so i'm re-watching them now and i'm gonna do at least one sprint ideally i'd like to do two it's only 20 past 10 i've got everyone on the laptop here you can't really see it but i promise they are there i've got about 27 minutes left of this sprint so i need to stop rambling and actually join in with it the classic vlogging from bed shot we love to see it i'm gonna go to bed now it's quarter to midnight and i am tired my eyes are going i did do the second sprint i just finished my chapter like two minutes before the end so i switched it off but i've read for like an hour this evening because i did two sprints and i've only read up to page 57 i think and i was on 25 when i started so i've only read like 30 two 33 pages i mean i guess the pages are big and i've been trying to take it in and it is taking me quite a while to get into the story it's like a dual timeline and i feel like now i am into the 
storyline from the 1900s because I just read a big chapter that was set solely in that time period but I'm not quite so sure about the modern day time period because we're following like a lot of different characters I'm like hooked and I wanted to keep reading like I'm I'm looking forward to waking up in the morning and carrying on with a bit more of it but I'm not really sure what to make of it other than that the writing also is taking some getting used to because the narrator you don't know who it is but they keep addressing the reader they'll be like oh dear reader and making reference to you and I'm not sure how I feel about that I don't know if it's meant to go with like the gothic creepy vibe but it kind of just makes me think of Lady Whistledown from Bridgerton at the moment and every time it, there's a dear reader I'm just hearing it in Julie Andrews's voice so my full thoughts on it will definitely be in my May wrapper but other than that I'm gonna go to bed and end off this weekend reading vlog do let me know if you've enjoyed this as I said at the beginning of the vlog I am thinking of making them like a regular thing because I do enjoy filming them so I would love to hear your thoughts or if there's anything that you'd like to see me do like specifically in a vlog I'd love to know that as well other than that let me know what book you're reading in the comments or just leave me an emoji to let me know that you've watched the video thank you all so much for watching i hope you're all keeping safe and staying well and i will see you again next time bye